Hey, good afternoon, Manchester, New Hampshire, and all the surrounding areas. We have a hot looking sexy lady on here today. <laughs> She's blushing already. I am now. Dr. Jody McDonald, right? Is Correct. it McDonald or McDonald? McDonald. McDonald, okay. And uh, Mary, unfortunately, could not make it. She's at the eye doctor's, I believe, to have eye surgery done. So, I thought the wishes are uh, with you, Mary, and can't wait to have you back on again. Mm -hmm. you know? Welcome to the show. Thank you. We're going to have to work two hours. Can we do it? I think so. Well, I think so, too. I think you so. Know, yeah. You know, we can be a little off the wall once in a while. <laughs> but isn't that the fun part? It is fun. That's what I like about doing my show. Now, you want to give a little background on you? Okay, so I'm a holistic practitioner. Um, I mainly uh, see people with chronic illnesses, things like Lyme disease, ALS, um, Epstein Barr virus. Uh, let's see what the uh, some of the other ones: rheumatoid, diabetes, things like that. Uh, through nutritional and lifestyle changes, um, herbal therapies, and a lot more energy work. Although right now I'm gearing more towards um, the energy work than I am. I'm trying to put the other stuff on the back burner because um, I know people that can do that as well. Now you, you, you talked about anti pressure. What is it? Uh, acupressure. A a acupuncture. Acupressure. Pressure. Now that's different than the acupuncture, right? The acupuncture uses needles, whereas acupressure it's actually just uses your touch. Yeah. And do you have to have a special training for this? Well, I am taking a class on it. Um, it does look very intense. It's for the whole body. Um, you can use acupressure on um, anything from any illness to pain to um, stress disorders and, sh and stuff like that. Well, when you get it, everything you know, almost a bad word. I but know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting but, used to the new Yeah, there you go. That's a good excuse. Yeah. So when you get it squared away, I'm going to be one of your guinea pigs on the show. Sure. Okay. You, you know, the thing is, you don't, you know, doctors are a necessary commodity. We know that. You know it. I know mm -hmm. Okay. If you break a leg, I'm not going to go to you. No, no. If I need a gallbladder not. operation, I'm not going to go to well, you. Well, no, no. You know, you know um, if I have cancer, I will go to you. If I have sugar problems, I would go to you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I think that's you know because right now, oh, I lost thirty pounds. Good for you. Yeah, and I don't. The spirit helped me. It took me a year and a half. Mm -hmm. But you know what, folks. You don't need to have all the. I think the diet pills add more to the weight than it does. Uh, I don't. I don't believe in diets, I don't um, and I don't believe that you should lose weight in in a very quick period of time. You you lose it gradually. That way, you keep it off for one thing and yeah, doing it in a healthy way. Mine took about a year and a half. Yeah. Okay. I want to go ten more pounds. Then I want to be the flaming queen <laughs> I used to be. You know, but I don't think I can dream about it. You could. You, know. you could. Well, I went from a forty-two down to a thirty. Six. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's because I want to, and I found that my my appetite has has uh, like decreased mm -hmm. because I want to keep maintain that. You know, and I don't mm -hmm. have that. What I do is I don't eat bread if I have potatoes. I don't eat bread if I eat potatoes. I don't eat you know one mm -hmm. or the other because you have to eliminate a lot of the right. stuff. Right, and you got to do it in a healthy way. Right, and we see my food instead of frying it. Mm -hmm. We use a steamer or we rotisserie it or whatever, mm -hmm. folks. You can eat healthy, and it doesn't cost you a lot of money. No, it doesn't. It really, a lot of people think it does. No, no. And I have a good appetite, mm -hmm. especially as, after I smoked a whole day cigarette, you know. <laughs> but I really eliminated, like, a lot of the, my favorite chocolate-covered cherries. You can have chocolate-covered cherries. You just can't have them all the time. I know. That's my problem. That's your problem. Right. Actually, I'm doing very well. I only had three. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it three, Scott? Yeah. yeah, three. And what I have, and I'm not really that keen into, I just don't have the appetite anymore. Mm -hmm. And for some reason that I'm not eating, I used to love tuna fish, mm -hmm. and I was like, I just can't stand it. Well, as you become healthier, and you put something in your body that it doesn't want, your body's going to tell you. Oh, it has been, yeah. Yeah. And that, isn't that marvelous? It, it is. Your body tells you what it needs. Yeah. 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 And then, oh, yeah, like, I was, well, I had red meat, because I'm a firm believer that your body is telling you there's nothing wrong with everything in this world, like the, the different herbal, like, uh, uh, veggies, mm -hmm. and different, a, 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 there's also different plants, right? Absolutely. And different things that you can grow. Well, your body will crave them, they'll tell you, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And don't you agree with that? I do. 
I do. And sometimes when, when you're like craving those things like salt and sugar and yeah. chocolate and stuff like that, it's because your body is lacking some certain mineral or vitamin that it's looking for, in which you can find in other foods. Yeah. My biggest problem is salt. Uh, Are you a chip eater? No. French fries? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or anything when then I can pound them. My, my daughter-in-law hides a salt shaker on me. Well, what kind of salt do you use? <laughs> nah, when I iodized. Oh, yeah, no, you shouldn't use that. Yeah, well, yeah, you, want, you, know, you want like a Himalayan sea salt or a Celtic yeah, sea salt? I want the taste of the salt. You, you can taste but the taste. But actually, I don't have any taste. taste. Yeah. yeah. You know, some kind of, I mean, like, um, I can cook, it. Scott will cook a really nice meal, a lot better cook than I am. Mm -hmm. And I'll cook that. I think I use the salt just so I can taste something. I mm -hmm. really don't have a, people could not, after being drinking as much as I drank, in the city, I, I really do believe it kills your taste buds. Yeah, smoking and drinking does that. Yeah, and a friend of mine's the same way, mm -hmm. you know. And I can't smell very bad. So some guy go, ooh, what's that? And I go, oh, I don't know. Yeah. So I, it's fun to let out a nice steak wood, you know, especially like at Walmart. You know. Yeah. Now we got our own pasta maker coming. Oh, very nice. We do everything by, you know, like we have a bread maker, mm -hmm. we, have a, we have a meat cutter, we have a grinder. And do you, do you make your own? Yeah, I roll it out. You roll out your own pie crust? No, well, the pie crust, not so much, but I do uh, make pasta. I um, learned you my, do that? My ex-husband um, was half Italian, and his grandmother had come over from Italy, and she showed me how to make the, the homemade pasta. It's not that hard, is it? No, actually, it's not. And then you know what's in it. Exactly. You know? Exactly. That's why I don't usually go out to eat. I think, I think the last time we went out to eat, I, I can't even, maybe last summer, because I can, for one... Make the meal cheaper than what you would cook it for. Plus, you you get multiple meals for the for the price that you pay. You no, know, I never pay. And I know what goes into it. Yeah, well, I never pay. Never. Never. Ever. Only when my daughter-in-law and I. But most of the people I go out pay for me. Ah. Oh, you're a celebrity. Of those. <laughs> yeah. We were gonna go to the Friendly Toast in Bedford. Uh huh. And it was a 20-minute waiting list. The 30-minute. And I looked at the prices on there. I was not comfortable. So I ended up going to the Purple Fitch. Mm -hmm. Have you been there? No, I have not. Okay. You know where it is? No. Okay, you know where you know where uh, Trader Joe's is? I do. In, in Bedford? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's right across the street. Oh, okay. It looks like there's a shopping you know, office. Yep. They all, oh, now, you like omelets? Sometimes. Yeah, oh, they make the best. I, I use a spinach with uh, tomatoes and mm -hmm. bacon on it and a feta cheese. Mm -hmm. And my waitress knows because I have everything on separate plates. Oh, I can't have my Are you, food. You can't touching. have your food touching each oh, no, other? No, no, no. Oh. Can you? I can, yeah. You know why? Because it all goes into the same place. Yeah, but... Ooh. But then again, you got to watch what you eat because yeah. you really shouldn't be eating your starches with your yeah, proteins yeah. And, or your vegetables. Well, I think I, uh, when I first learned it uh, from five years old and up, when I first learned how to feed myself, I was four years old when I, because I had a learning disability. Mm -hmm. And not embarrassed to say it either because I'm accomplished a lot. Mm -hmm. And my mother always had it on that same plate. And she said, make sure, and make sure it doesn't touch. Mm -hmm. And I've always, I spend an hour moving the peas out of the way for the mashed potatoes. My son used to be like that when he was younger. Yeah. Like now, I, nowadays, I'll eat one thing and then I'll eat another and then I'll eat another, but I can. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't bother you if I have American chop suey. I can eat all that, you mm -hmm. know. I know it's all psychological, mm -hmm. you know, but the people that know me, and most, 95 percent, I'm going to say 99 percent of the people do put it on separate plates for me, okay. There are some that are jerks, but that's okay, you know. One thing I want, one thing I want to look at you too is that your business, don't be discouraged with it. Okay. You understand what I mean I know that? exactly what you're saying, yes. Okay. It's going to get better. Mm -hmm. And with all the courses that you're taking, it definitely is going to get a lot more. You have a pretty big office? Just one room. One room. But you can start, it could be an all-purpose room, too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to eventually move on, but, I mean, it, it Five years. subsides for right now. It's, it's, it's good for me. And it meets your needs. It does. Yeah. You know, I've thought about what's going on and when's the money that I think about taking my office out of my house. Mm -hmm. But I like it here. It's my comfort zone, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And someday I may want to go, you know, I may go out. But at my age, I don't know, mm -hmm. you know. And one of the things I'm actually looking at you, too, is that 
The person that you are with really, really loves you. I know he does. You know. Do you appreciate him? I do. Let me show it. I do. All the time. Isn't it? It's not that hard either, no, is it? No, and he does too. You know, it's, it's, it's the little things. Yeah, that's why I've been married so many times. <laughs> And I'm not a person, I'm not a huggy person, I'm not a kiss. I think we'll, I'll actually chase a TV station, you know. Are you a romantist? Not as much as I used to be. Yeah. Huggy, kissy poo and all that stuff. Ooh. With him, yes, but yeah. other people, no. 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 Now, I get a lot of clients and then they, you know, we'll hug them by or something like that, but otherwise than that, no, mm. you know. Um, one, of the, one of the things I want people to understand is that what qualifies you to do what you do, you're an herbalist, right? Mm hmm Okay. took a lot of years. It did. And you had to go work hard, hard to get your degrees. I did. And didn't come overnight. Mm-hmm. And a lot of discouragement at times in studying? At times in studying, yes, because I'm not much of a book person. I'm, I'm learned by doing. Um, and since I've gotten out of school, I've done a lot of YouTube training and lectures in documentaries and I learn more that way than I do than reading a book. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I got a, I had a massage table gifted to me. I looked at rid of on Facebook and I mm -hmm. had no idea for whom, but that's okay. So I said, okay, I've got a massage chair. Not a massage. So I think I'd better go online on YouTube mm -hmm. and find out how to do the proper procedures, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not sure if I want to go to school and get a recertification. I'm also going to take a course. I'm like you. We're expanding. I know. I, just, awesome? I can't. It's almost like I can't get enough right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm constantly doing so. I finished my EFT training, um, started working with my clients with that, and it's working out really well. Um, I did take a mini acupressure course, um, Miracle Points, a few months ago and enjoyed that and I've actually found a course for the whole body. So now it looks very, very intense, but I'm really excited to jump into it. Right. So. Don't you think that people are coming more and more to us? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they, they're tired of the West or Eastern medicine. The rigmarole and right. the run around. And, and the, the thing that kills me is when you have doctors that... They don't know what the hell's wrong, and that's why they're called practicing meds, mm -hmm. okay? They're going to give you this experimental drug, or they're going to give you that. And I love it when they give it to people who have a psychotic issue problems, you know. Oh, we're going to do this for them. We're going to do that. Mm -hmm. But yet they go. See, one of the things that I believe is, see what you think, Jody, is a lot of times when a person dies, we'll say, in a car accident, mm -hmm. or, in a, or they get beaten to death or whatever, it's such a tremendous shock to their spiritual body. Mm -hmm. They don't know if they should be coming over here or going over there. Right. So when a person that stays here and they have friends from the other side from the past life, I'm a firm believer that they are actually communicate, communicate with the people they might have known up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe that. You know? And all the drugs in the world isn't going to stop it. No. No. Um, and, and we're finding, and in, in some research has been done that People who do have, um, we'll call it schizophrenia or, um, you know, kids with ADHD and, and, or they label ADHD or, or autism are actually just higher vibrational beings. Right. You know, and they're not, you know, the kids with the um, uh, imaginary friends, they're, they're, they're spe actually speaking with people. Yeah. You know, my, my, my granddaughter had a major friend. I had a major friend, didn't you? I believe I did. I'm not you know. Sure. And I can remember one thunderstorm, and the, the angels were so, and I, at that, that, I think it was like eight or nine, maybe ten. Terrified? Whoa, I clung under the table. I thought I heard a voice saying, you know, it's okay, we're here to help you. Mm -hmm. And well, there's nothing wrong. If your children, I'm a firm believer, and I think you are too, if your children are saying, Mommy, Daddy, I'm seeing these mm -hmm. little spirits, these orbs or whatever, they're there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've got your son song. Um, yeah, my son had an imaginary friend when he was younger for quite some time. Talked to him quite a bit. Um, I actually just helped uh, a client's granddaughter come to terms with what she is seeing and, and help her understand that. I have referred her to a medium that I know, and she contacted her, and, and now the mother is feeling better because the daughter was saying, you know, I'm, I'm talking to these people. and. So it helps her understand. All right. You know, that's one thing about me, too. If I have a client and I don't understand what they want or what they do, I'll refer them to another person. Mm -hmm. I do, too. You know, and I, I think that's what the odyssey about you and I are. Mm -hmm. 
Don't get me wrong. I like to make money. You do too. That's what. Otherwise, we would be in it, right? Right. But if I can't do it and do it correctly, I would like if somebody comes to me and they wanted to know about this herb or whatever, I would probably give you a call or text you and say, "Look, I'm sending this person over to you to and you can work with." Mm -hmm. I think that's what they in a community. Right. Well, I, I tell people to. I'm only one piece of the puzzle. I right. can only do so much. You know what I'm not qualified for, or you know if you're not comfortable with me, then I find somebody that it, that you are comfortable with. Um, I don't do massage. I do recommend massage for right. a lot of my clients. Yeah. So I, I recommend that out. Um, hypnosis, things like that. My very good friend Matt, I don't do hypnosis. And he's very good because he's the one. This is me, right? Mm -hmm. six, in a, six years ago, I think it is today, that I get hypnotized with cigarette smoking. Or this month, I'm not just sure. And Scott gave up six years ago next month. No oh, good. So it goes to show you anything that is can work if you want it to. It's a mind over right. matter. Mm -hmm. I had to take my second time to do it. You know, for the first time I was afraid that I was going to lose my, my <laughs> idea. I wanted to smoke pot. I wasn't about ready to give that up. You know what I mean? Well, nicotine and pot are two different things. Yeah, yeah, you know. And actually, he did a past life regression on me on my on the air, uh, and I found out I was a uh, Indian scout leader. For the, to terrorize the uh, French Indians. Yeah. <laughs> that was a horrible thought. Yeah. And so now I love them all. And then I was also a lieutenant colonel in the Robert E. Lee Confederacy. And I was shot by a cannonball. So, you Have know. you gone down to Gettysburg and down that way? And uh, yep. And I've actually looked through the books. Mm -hmm. When I tell people oh, about their past life, if you don't mind, I'll probably do that a little bit on you, okay? I encourage people to go into their history books. To look and see. Do you have purple in your hair? No. Then it's glowing purple into your hair. That's <laughs> right. I just had to be known. When I tell people, if you doubt, I, because I can't, there's not a way that I can prove it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I tell them, look in their history books. And then you're going to see a place where you might have been. Mm -hmm. Like with you. You were a warrior at one time. Way, oh, yeah. way back in the Way day. back in the 1400s. Hmm. You were one of the, one of the male warriors. That you led a, a battalion of men on many people. And another time, just before you came here, you you died of a tremendously painful death as, as a female. And you came here because there was nothing there. So you came here this time to help people get better. To help people to be able to understand mm -hmm. what they're saying because there was nobody back in your era where they were new all that, nor did they really take that time. So you and you also watch people die without being you know, So now what you're doing in this era is you're making up and showing people how they can get better. And that explains my, my the beginning of my life anyway. <laughs> right. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. Okay. You also were never, never a jewelry, a jewelry or a rich person. Money, even though you were financially comfortable, your dad was a roaring bar owner back in, in Ireland, back in your past life and all that. And you were doted on as a princess. But you never cared for all that. You've always been a person. So you're, what you're really doing is is proceeding from what you learned from your past life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your husband was a very dominant, controlling person in, in his past life. Was he? Now he's a meek and mild person. Mm -hmm. You're the boss. For the most part, yeah. yeah. He's, he's pretty, yeah. pretty mild. Well, he lets you think you're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> no. You two work well together. Yeah. If I told you you were soulmates in your past life, what would you say? I believe it. See, a lot of times... Folks, if you, if you think I'm bored and you want to interrupt me, give me a call. What's the number? Somewhere. Six four, oh, every call, 603 6403091 And we'll go through Brian. Brian will be very happy to send it to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I love doing my show. 19 years last month. It's a long time. It sure is. And you know what? I've seen a lot of growth in people. I've had a lot of shows fit up in my show. And until I, ha if I have to crawl in here on, on my belly, I'll still keep doing it. As <laughs> long as I have my, and I think I will. All your faculty, sure. All my faculty. Well, I might spaz out once in a while, you know. But I just, I love having people like you on. Mm -hmm. Because you're an inspiration. Well, 
thank you. Okay. And there's also some people I somehow lose that card. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And I'm, wa I'm waiting for you to get your own cable TV show. I'm I'm working on it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be talking to them soon. Um, my, I'll call it my block, is um, not being able to have the content. Because down there we cannot um, promote ourselves. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So it's basically they're just talking about, well, obviously mine would be more on the health issue. Um, you know, and I'd like to have people down, um, but I think a majority of my shows are going to be just topics on, you know, the nervous system, why is it important, things like, you know, the, the truths and the myths to cholesterol and high blood pressure and, um, you know, the natural ways to do this and the natural ways to do that. So. Okay, let's talk about the nervous system since you brought it up. Okay. Okay. What, uh, okay, with the energy, does all the nervous system come off in the brain? In other words, you get like like toilet shot, like does your brain tell you to, it's okay to be nervous? I oh, think it has a lot to do with not just your brain, okay. because you're you're actually your nervous system controls and coordinates every system in your body, like mm -hmm. everything, your cells, your muscles, your tissues, your organs, all of that stuff. And what I tell people, um, and this is why I tell people, have you been to a chiropractor when they come and see me? Because if they have their spine is compressed onto a nerve. No matter how much advice I give them, you know, detoxes, you know, nutritional, you know, supplements advice or whatever, it's not going to do any, any good until that channel's back open. You know, and then of course, you know, a lot of like anxieties and stuff. And this is, I think, what you're talking about. If it goes up in the right. brain, yeah. okay. But your anxieties come mostly from your hormones. Your hormones oh, really? come from your adrenal glands, which lies on top of your kidneys. So if your adrenal glands are, are, are a little off or they're not working correctly, you're going to have issues. It's going to spread off, you know, cortisol and, and all these other hormones, and, and your body's going to feel like, you know, jittery, and you're going to be anxious and have issues and panic attacks and all that stuff. But we can also train your brain to take care of your body ah. because your body follows what your brain is thinking. As you know, vibrational yeah. thoughts and stuff like that. For no reason, I mean, once in a while, oh, poor Scott, I don't know how he puts up with it. I'm dead sure he, you know, and I was fast out of, oh, but something minute, something minute, something that doesn't mean a damn thing, but also I'm blowing into out of proportion. How he puts up with it, I honestly don't know. You know my boyfriend always said to me, I used to be a person like that actually before I started school, but right when I met him, don't sweat the small stuff. You have to keep telling yourself, don't sweat the small yeah. stuff. Yeah. There was something there that was very minute and I ain't carrying on like there was no tomorrow, you know. <laughs> don't even know why or anything. I think a lot of times I consider myself, I, was, I don't consider myself a diabetic anymore or borderline anymore because I've taken care of it and I've lost my weight. And not only that, never own an illness. Oh no, that's what I will not do. Never own it. You know, I, I love having Mary on my show. Mm. I think she's great. I think she, uh, Mary, we're talking about you. <laughs> and, you know, she got her idea to have a show up on my show, mm -hmm. you know. And I think it's bad. You're going to be on her show tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow at 5 o'clock? 5. Then uh, Cruising with Mary will be on uh, Channel 23, and you're going to be your uh, guest. I will be. Okay. You know, yeah. And that's cool, you know. And I'll tell you, Mary's come a long way from her shyness. Yeah. You know? yeah I love Mary. Oh, I think, she, she, well, like I said, we've known each other, well, that many years. Of course, mm -hmm. I'm only 37. <laughs> of course you are. With a 40-year-old, 46-year-old son, you mm -hmm. know, we'll figure that mm -hmm. one out later. Yeah. But, you know, I may be living on a limited income, but you know what, there again, you can improve your life if you want to. Absolutely. You know? I don't have gas about the one do I want it, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I'm paranoid of it ever since we had that fire. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I got a nice electric stove. You know, get a little of uh, hop. We have a pasta maker. We have two different size onion, uh, ovens. We have a bread maker. You, you can, and you don't have to spend a whole a lot of money, mm -hmm. okay? You have a nice house, right? For the most part, yeah, yeah it needs but work, I, but but you know what, you worked hard at it, right? Absolutely. You know, and, and you you appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, I think that's like what the the uh, I I'm a truly a true believer in the spirits choose us to be in that house. Mm -hmm. Like you've been there quite a while. Um, twelve. 
12, 13 years ago? Yeah, maybe? see? Yeah. And you've done a lot of work to it. Yeah. And there's still a little bit more to be done. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. I gotta read you my. I am so tired, girlfriend. I actually <laughs> did manual labor. Wow. Yeah, I mowed my hair mow I one, and I went out front. Mm -hmm. Then Scott and I did the trash, and he, you know, you know all that, and then he, he grading it all out. We work good together, don't you, with your husband? Mm hmm But isn't that what it's all about? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Working together. We just took our pool down. So mother and well, we were thinking about doing it anyway, and then this past winter, Mother Nature decided, yeah, it's definitely coming down. So, you went know, oh, above ground pool. It was yeah. Getting another one. No. Don't, Don't need it. it. The kids are older. Nobody uses it but us. And then we have a, a place up in Maine we go to on the weekend. So, don't need it. Yeah, my yard isn't big enough. Mm -hmm. You know. But I've got the yard, I've got, we have our cookhouse, you know, I go to my son's or my son comes over to my house, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I, we have like a, we'll be having a breakfast at, uh, at night. What does it say you can't have it at night, like a buffet breakfast? Do no one says you have to have eggs for breakfast and nobody says you have to have, no. you know, steak and potatoes for dinner, so. But I can't, you know, people have beans in the morning for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Do you? Sometimes. Really? Yeah, once in a great, great while. Like, I don't make it at home, but if no. I go out for breakfast or whatever, yeah, I'll get a side dish of beans. Or, uh. yeah. The first time I saw it, I think Tammy and I, my daughter-in-law and I, and, and, and my friend John, he actually ordered beans. I just cracked up. <laughs> I started laughing because I, I had never heard of it before. Yeah, I mean, beans are a hot, a hot commodity at breakfast. In New England, yeah. especially among the French. Yeah. You know, they really are. And, uh, but... But you know, like you just said, is we all have our own choices. Mm -hmm. I have to, I get a break because I'm addicted to eggs. I have to have my eggs in the morning. Three eggs, I'm going to cut it back to two. Because mm -hmm. I understand one in three is not good for you. So, and I have to either, I have, I, do you like post egg on toast? Do I like what? Poached egg on poached, toast. I'm not a big poached egg person. No, I, no, I don't, I don't. I don't either? like runny eggs, we'll just oh. put it that way. Um, no, oh, really? I, they have to be well done if I have an egg. Uh, burnt? Not burnt, done. No, no, no. I like them a little runny. Yeah. Or, uh, that's why I love omelets. I'll tell you, uh, Theo's, I went there and I had an omelet, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've gone to the Purple Fish and they have awesome now. And I've gone to Blake's on uh, South Main Street, mm -hmm. and they make perfect omelet. Right. I was not impressed with the ones from uh, Shaver Shams. Do you like to go out for breakfast? Again, I'm not you a big person to go out yeah. because, for you one, never know. you never know. <laughs> Is their kitchen clean or dirty? Um, we have a, a networking meeting on Thursday mornings um, at, a, at a restaurant, excuse me, down the street from my house. And I don't particularly care for their food. Um, this flies in there, so it's like <coughs> if this flies in there, then what's what's going on in the kitchen? And so I'm not a big, you know. And again, if I can't make it at home, you know, anything, I have learned to make some pretty awesome omelets. Yeah, anything that I find that I like out there, I always like. You'll I'll look up a recipe and then I'll try it at home, making it at home because I love cooking. So yeah, we both do. Yeah, I wanna. I, I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna go online and get. For fried clams, I love fried clams, mm. and I, they got many recipes for it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and somebody knows this. Quite, I'm thinking about going. Like, can you buy them? like at the market basket? Are those okay to use for making fried clams with? I wonder. I would. I would go to a fish market. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. You know, I, I tell a lot of people if you go to buy and, and I do this when I'm at the grocery store, you go buy. You're not supposed to smell fish that strong. Yeah, and uh, actually, I have gotten some very good deals at Market Basket. Mm -hmm. Never again, you've got to watch it, mm -hmm. too. I like Bedford, the, the head of up in Bedford, and the people there. Mm -hmm. But the people at Market, the meat, jealousy, Brian and I would be young in each other. <laughs> I want it done a certain way. I don't, I told this one guy three times, don't slice it. Give me one big chunk, uh, like bologna, two pounds. Please don't slice it. So what's he do? He brings it away. I go, that isn't what I wanted. He goes, well, I go, no, please do it again. <laughs> you know. Then he came out with two uh, pounds, you know, one pound, one pound. I said, why can't you put them all in? How hard is it? 
Do you have a slicer in them? Yeah. Ah. See, we have everything in you know. Yeah. Um, and do you? I don't have a slicer, although it is on the list. My boyfriend and I have actually wanted one for quite some time. Oh, they're fantastic. Mm -hmm. We also have our own meat grinder. Yep. I have um, my own pasta makers, the, you know, the rollers. I have, uh, well, I make my own breads. You know, yeah, I, I get it right in there. And oh, yeah. So how do you like your pasta maker? I don't have a pasta maker. I actually well, I'm make a homemade. Oh, that's right. And how long does that take? Not that long. The longest part is basically just waiting for it. you got to put it in the refrigerator and let it... Um, We'll call it rise, or you know, at least double in size for like an at least an hour or so, and then oh. rolling it out, and that's the only other tough part. Other than that, it's it's pretty easy. So you make your own lasagna pasta too? Mm -hmm. You can. But doesn't it make you feel good? It does. Because you actually know what's going in there. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. You know what type of flour you're using. You know, I I, I like to use a semolina flour. What is it? Semolina. It's almost like a pasta flour. Oh. How do you spell that? S E M O L I N A. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. I don't have a very good memory at times. I'm going to text you and ask you what that is. You mm -hmm. know? We are here with Dr. Jody McDonald, and she's a naturopath, holistic. Holistic practitioner. Practitioner. Yeah. Um, she has gone to school many, many years to accomplish many. this. Yeah. And you're, now you're learning a new field as well. I am. Um, I just started two classes, um, NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, um, which is more or less taking our perceptions when we're talking to other people mm -hmm. and letting them be them kind of thing. It's sort of like um, one of the examples used in the class was, um, it's the class is out of Scotland, um, and it says it's a beautiful sunny day in Scotland. So the guy from Scotland says, oh yeah, sunny day, I'm going to the beach, right? And so you have an Australian guy visiting Scotland says, oh no, it's too cold. So basically, they're both right, but because in Australia it's a lot hotter than it is in Scotland, yeah. there's two different perceptions. So that's basically what the class is about, you know, trying to, um, for one, change a negative into a positive, um, and seeing other people's perspective without judgment. Um, this is, there's a lot of judgment going on in the world today. Um, and the other one is acupressure, which i um, really starting to enjoy. Uh, I've gotten through at least my first module, um, and it's more or less the acupressure points for like chest pains um, and things like that, circul cir the circulatory system. So I'm looking forward to the rest. How long is that course? Uh, it's very intense. Again, I can go at my own pace, which is a really good thing. Um, planning on having it done within the next two months. Oh, it's not that long. Mm -mm. Oh, I should go online and check it out. Yeah, oh. I mean, it's. I found this this. Um, I'll call it a school. It's an online thing, and they have pretty much everything from machinists to learning new languages to um, health issues to law. And well, yeah, I just signed up for law. And it's um, really, really good priced. Yeah. Yeah, I signed up for, uh, I just want to do it for the hell of it. I want mm -hmm. to take, you know, like the, take a, what do you call it, a, a law, I mean, like a, uh, not a lawyer, but an assistant to one. Like a paralegal? Know. Paralegal, that's mm -hmm. the word, yeah. But just for something to do, I love, and I think you're the same way. I love it when they tell me you can't do something, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I I told like to make never be a nurse. I became a nurse. And I think I think you're in the same way. I, I probably ninety five percent of the people, if you're telling they can't do it, they're going to prove you wrong. Mm. And that's what I encourage when they come into my office. That's what I encourage too. Yeah. You, well, they can go both ways. They're yeah. either going to do it to prove you wrong, yeah. or they're going to give in and say, okay. Okay, I can't do I it. I can't do you it. Know. So you know. Yeah. And again, uh, that's that's what the NLP. Yeah. You get in here that you can't do it. What is that? If you remember, send me uh, an info on that. The NLP. Yeah. Okay. okay. And well, one of the things that, you know, like you and I, we don't know it all. Mm -mm. And nor will I ever say I do. Mm -mm. Nope. Usually I tell people, you know, if I don't know it, I will find you somebody who does, or I will direct you where you can find your answer. I've been finding a lot of missing bodies lately. Yeah. I wish I could been, say they are I, all I think alive. spirits are trying to... They told me my feelings are going to be opening up a lot more. So, uh, do I reading? Yeah, I'll always do my reading. I enjoy doing that. And when I got the thing, I'm going to tell you. Did your mother, your mother pass? Mm -mm. No. Like she, why, why am I concerned about her health? My mother? Yeah. Oh, she's. Well, she was born with a, a hole in her heart. She's had surgery and she pacemaker and. 
I mean, I, I think it's a pacemaker that pretty much keeps her going, so. Yeah. Well, if I told you that she's really proud of you. Yeah, I can. She doesn't always understand what you're doing. Mm -mm. But she, you're not the wild thing. Mm. Were you wild? When I was younger. Yeah, okay. And you made her hair turn gray? I didn't really spend a lot of time with my mother when we were younger. Okay. But I have to tell you, she's really, really proud. And you, I, I would probably encourage you to spend a little more time with her. Well, she lives in North Carolina, so. Well, you talk her on the phone. Yeah. Once in a while. Do a little, for your own peace of mind. Because if you don't, you're going to feel guilty. I should have been there. But you also made up your mind you were not going to bring your son up. You have one child, right? Mm hmm And you were not going to bring her up the way you were brought up. Right. You know, the next time we can change her. I can remember when I was, I, I, when I got my stepchildren, I can, I got to speak with this one more time because that's what my dad used to say. And then I said, what the hell am I doing? Mm-hmm. I always said I would never do that. And I, you know, when, when mm -hmm. you realize it because, and it doesn't accomplish anything. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No. My son, I would put him in the room and uh, I would cry more than he would. Or if he would play with that and I went like this on him, he'd cry. And I, you had to say, oh, am I doing the right thing? <laughs> you know? No, my son used to put himself into timeout. He was, you know, he, he was a good kid. He really yeah, was. Yeah. He was. Yeah, mine too. You know, the one thing about it, they, they don't come in books. No, they don't. Yeah. I read all of Dr. Spock's books. Yeah. You remember him, right? Yes. Okay. Cost me a lot of money with my oldest son. Mm. You know, but that's okay. And then I threw that away. And I think that you have to be a parent within yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I have not also noticed, too, is that a lot more men are taking responsibility for their children. That is a trend that's going on, yes. I think it's pretty awesome. I do, too, yes. I look across the street from where I live, cause I live right by the park, and I, and I see more and more children being like dads from other countries and taking mm -hmm. more and more care of them. And it just makes my heart feel good. Mm -hmm. Saying, you know what, not all dads are bad. No, and I think, you know, that even though there is still a majority of uh, people that are kids that are not brought up correctly, you know, my generation, we're trying to bring up our kids the, the, not the way that our parents brought us right. up. And I think that's where a lot of that is coming from. Yeah. You know, you got kids with compassion, you got them with love, you got them with. You know, wanting to spend time with your family instead of, yeah. you know, running away and what have you, so. I think one of the saddest parts are is that a lot of the children will try to talk to their parents. I see this in the park a lot. Mm -hmm. and, or when a mother puts her boyfriend over the kids or the, girl, the father puts them over the girl for the work, mm -hmm. you know, and all that. That breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. Your kids should always come first. Oh, they had, I'm not going to say where it was or by where I live, I'll put it this way. <laughs> kind of funny, yet it's not. I guess there's alcohol, you should never argue when you have alcohol mm -hmm. in your breath, okay? This one person decided because he would, her boyfriend was talking to somebody else, decided she was going to choke him. Oh, jeez. So he bit her. Really bad. And I looked and I didn't say a word. I felt bad. I said, the children are in there crying. You should be taking care of them, not worried about what your boyfriend did or is doing. Mm. They haven't talked to me since. <laughs> <coughs> maybe, maybe someone else here. If you get a domestic violence on your record, right, and you're in college, can you, can't you lose the college funding? I'm not really sure how that works. I know that there's a lot of but we'll call it sexual assault or what have you right, on campuses yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. And I know that a lot of colleges are trying to break it under the rug, so to speak. Um, but I'm not really sure. I mean, if they, because of the kids really rarely convicted, it, I don't think that they... Yeah, well, if you, or they could lose a medical or military benefits, I was wondering, you know. Folks, if you know the end, if you do domestic violence and you're, in the, and you're in college and you have all these careers and all this stuff, mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if... Maybe what do you would know the answer if it could be if they could lose it? I think they should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm, I but don't I'm know not 100 sure. I'm not judging. I'm not a jury. You know. However, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. She was wrong in choking him. I think what he would try to do was try to defend himself against mm -hmm. her. You know, he's a little skinny guy. Well, sometimes it's just it's a reaction. Too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sometimes you just can't help it. You know. So you know what? When you're doing that, don't drink. Yes, don't do that. You know, I'm not tell, I'm not accusing of being alcoholic or anything like that, but you know what? You gotta use it, especially if you have children involved. Mm -hmm. 
No, I agree that my father was an alcoholic, and my dad was. Yeah, and I was. But I, and the problem was that I, yeah, I did take my son first, but I also chose alcohol and everybody. You know, so I remember. Oh, here we go. Let's push that button right there. This one. Yeah. Norm's community camp. Uh, Corner. No, corner. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Oh my goodness. Her teeth were. How you doing? I'm still learning how to talk. Yeah. Her teeth were falling out, Mary. How you feeling, Mary? Hey, not too bad. I can just tell with she right now. Oh, <laughs> right. yeah. That's yeah. right. Well, good. so you had the surgery done? Yeah, I did. I just got in, okay. and they held me a little bit because I couldn't see that good. Uh -huh. And there's somebody coming, and I said, uh, yeah, I got to wait outside. So I went it got in my car and came home. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, you lied. <laughs> Whoa. What are you going to do? You got to yeah. do what you got to do. That's right. So how are you feeling? You know, pretty good. My left eye feels like it's all swollen. Right. Yeah, that's what mine did. Yeah. 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 We yeah. miss you yeah. here. Like I was getting shot. You know, yeah. someone was shooting at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We miss you here. Oh, thank you. And you're gonna be thank on you. tomorrow with Jody. What you had As, about uh, um, domestic violence and, right. co and and you can get dismissed on that in college. It's happened in baseball. It's happened in football, hockey. If they, you know, you go to court and they do find you guilty, you you will lose everything. I I think they deserve to. What do you think? Mm, yeah. 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 Now, if you do that, you know, um, you you get what you what you deserve. Put it yeah, that way. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You gonna be all set for next Wednesday, Mary? Yep. All right. Yep. We need you here. You yep. know. Yeah, I should do my my show tomorrow. As right. it, you know, hope it's not blurry like it is right now, but I should be there tomorrow. Uh huh. Nice. Well, I hear you got Dr. Jody being on your show tomorrow. Yes, I do. Well, she's getting to be pretty well known. She's a celebrity now. I know, huh? <laughs> yeah, you know. So, how long did it take for your surgery, Mary? Well, I would say about 20 minutes. Yeah. They did laser, yeah. right? Yeah, it was laser. And yeah. it felt like he was shooting at me. He said, mm -hmm. I'm shooting at you. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't, laser, yeah. You know? yeah, but you didn't feel any pain, right? No, I didn't feel any pain. I just felt the pressure. Yeah. That's yeah, what I had. I numbed right. my eye pretty good. Right. And that's what I had, too. I had that pressure. Yeah. 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 They had to remove some cataracts mm. and a bunch of other. And then when I came out of it, I looked at the, clerk, the, the nurses there and said, oh, you guys are pretty cute. <laughs> and, uh, and I looked at my friend Bob. I said, oh, you're ugly. <laughs> but, Mary, you're going to feel so much better. I know this is a, a, that was a success. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. You know, that's like Jody and I, what you're talking, Mary. There are times when you need the, uh, the Eastern medicine, you know, to work with it. You know, yeah. we need our doctors, like for your diabetic purposes and like that, too. Mary, as far as I know, Saturday, be prepared to come to the house for a breakfast buffet at night. All righty. I'll give Sounds you a call. Good. Yeah, I'll give you a call and let you know. My daughter-in-law will not eat carrots. Really? Right? But if Mary makes yep. them, the way Mary makes them, <laughs> we better get our she'll share first. Up. Yep, she'll eat them all. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Mary has I that magic. Yeah, I do it where my grandfather used to fix them. Yeah. He yeah. was a Canadian, and he used to sweeten them up and everything. You're yeah. frying fry, yeah. fry your carrots. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that does sweeten yeah. them up, I guess. Yeah. And, and uh, she'll eat them. You won't eat them yeah. otherwise, hmm. you know. Yeah. Then, it's, it's Some people just have that magic touch. Yeah, like Mary does. Mm. Oh yeah, Mary makes them pretty. <laughs> Mary, have you had her beans yet? I have not. Oh, uh oh. Next time she's on the show with us, Mary, you'll have to make the beans and bring them into her. Yep, yep, I will. Oh, she makes awesome. You like homemade beans? Sure beans? will. Yeah, well, she makes them real good. Actually, we had the event. She would make two crock pots full and she'd sell them all. Wow, nice. Yep, yeah, so I got to get and my I butt made, in gear. The last time I made the uh, chili, that went like crazy. And yeah. then uh, before that, I made the Portuguese uh, You make soup. a soup, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kale yeah. soup, yeah, yeah. kale soup. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mary, like yeah. right. do, you eat, do you eat beans for breakfast? Yes, I do. Are you French? I love beans in the morning. I love beans and hamburg. Beans. In the morning? Yeah. Huh. Are you French or what? 
I think so. Okay. <laughs> what is that putain in that potato? What is that potato what Mary with the cheese and the, the gravy oh, on potatoes it? Potatoes and cheese? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's good. Uh, you can take a hot dog, slice it in half. Yeah. Take your mashed potatoes and put it on top of your open hot dog. Yeah. Then take cheese, cover the mashed potatoes in your hot dog. You can put it in a microwave or you can you can even put it, you know, in a little baking oven. Yeah, yeah. Or do either way with it. And when it starts melting in a little brown, not much, when it starts melting all the way, then it's done. Wow. Sounds pretty good. It's yeah. delicious. That's another one my mother used to make. Yeah. I love hot dog, but I'm not supposed to have them. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, But I steam them, so I use that as an excuse. I do like steamed hot dogs. Yeah. We just can't have them all the time. That's no, all. That's yeah. all, you know. And uh, so, Mary, you make sure that you get... Who's putting the eye drops in for you? Uh, right now, they don't want anything. They just want it to heal the way like the way it is right now. Oh. They want to try it without any. So I got to go back in two weeks. Yeah. Oh. And all see right. them. Well, let's believe it's going to be successful. Yep. You know. Yep. That's for sure. Yeah, because I think, yeah, believe it or not, Mary, I think your show is helping you be more positive, mm -hmm. and your yeah. attitude is more positive. Yeah, yeah, you know. that's for sure. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, doing the show, I really enjoy it. I enjoy, I don't go very far nope. with my car yeah. or anything, And but, it, you know, I go out twice a week, and I enjoy what I'm doing. Right. And it and does it, like, with me, I look forward to it. When, we don't, when the show is not going on because of vacation mm -hmm. time, I'm lost. <laughs> you know, no, I, you know. I think you did the same thing, Norm. Oh, yeah. You get ready to go to the show, and it's that week there's no show. <laughs> yeah, I get all the way down here one time. And I, you know, I go, wait a minute, what the hell am I doing? You know? <laughs> the guy looks at me, and I go, ah, oh, you, know, you know. But I think once you get started with it, it's almost like an addiction. Uh huh. Okay. And I guess you could call it an addiction, right, Mary? Yeah. Because yeah, you know what? Really it breaks up our day. Yeah. And we have a lot of fun doing it. Something yeah. you enjoy gives yeah. you something to do. Yeah. You look forward to it. Yeah. When Mary isn't smacking me in the head. Wow. Well, sometimes I think you deserve to be well, smacked in the back. Well, I don't know about it. that. Lori used to, too. <laughs> you met Lori, right? Yeah, you've been I, on the show with yeah. Lori. I do miss her coming on. Yeah, Lori's yeah, a good Yeah, she was uh, she, yeah, she, a good yeah, she really is. I miss her a lot, but. When I go away on vacation, her and Mary will probably take, or you and hmm. Laura or her, we'll figure it out. I have never trusted anybody to take over my show, but Lori, I will. And I can trust you and Mary, you know. I can see that. You know. I can see that you've had yeah. to let go of some of that. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the hardest part of letting go, mm -hmm. letting go, you know. When I, went, well, I made a mistake one time, and I had this one woman doing my show for me, and oh, my God, I cried. I literally cried because I was so upset. I didn't want anything, but um, the poor me, I wanted spiritual energy. And everything she talked about was this, uh, that, well, discrimination, everybody and all that. And that's not what our shows are about. I'm not discriminating, and I don't want to be a discriminating mm -hmm. show. And uh, Right, Mary? That's right. right. Everybody's welcome. Right. You know. Doesn't matter who you are, we always ask them, please don't swear. Yeah. Don't and, call anybody out of their name. No. Nope. And if you can't back, if you're going to accuse somebody of something, you damn well better back it up because I'm not going to get sued. Because mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. I'm responsible. Like Mary, we're responsible for it. Anybody, anybody says something that's yep. bad about accusing somebody, we can, well, I can be sued. I'm yeah, not going to do that. Yeah, it's liable. Oh, yeah. So Slander. we used to have a, a paper to make, you know, that they're going to call like that, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, what the, how's your kiddies doing? Did they give you a hard time when you got home? Oh, my God, yes. I have, you know, my Lodinia. Yeah. And uh, I had a nurse call me up, seeing when I was, when I was going today and everything for the doctor. And she heard Lodinia in the background. Ma'am. She called me ma'am. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, my God, she says, is that a kid? I said, no, that's my cat. <laughs> talking. And you, yeah. When Mary and I go, you know, we'll talk about the market now, and we'll buy Mary something to take home with her. Mm-hmm. That cat will literally get right into her shopping bag. Really? She got, right? Yeah. Yep. Mary had time a, with the chicken, she got into the chicken before yeah. I could get to it. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My new kitty can now say out. And he doesn't just say out. He screams it. Yeah. Yes. They yeah. can talk. 
yeah. The more you talk to them, like these, the, my two girls brought them up since they were, I brought them into the world, put it that way, uh, Ladinia and her sister. You keep talking to them, and they, they, they get to the point where they're going to answer you back. Mm hmm when I, when my cat, big boy, he he felt he adopted us when you know, he came to our house. And, yeah. And I believe my my cat that passed sent him to us. Mm -hmm. and t technically Scott's cat, but everyone was so I'm so excited that I'll be sitting there and watching. Also, I feel this big old cat come, <laughs> and he's a big cat, huh, Mary? Yes, yeah, he's beautiful. Right big tiger. Yeah. 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 And then my, it was true surrounders. Yeah, that's why. And, 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 my and he loves night. my jacket when I put it down. He'll oh, put yeah. on my jacket. Yeah. And my big boy, my, my dog will cover. If I have a pair of pants or pajamas, crawl right on there and I don't dare to move on me. Mm. You know what? You and I know our animals are our energy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't you agree with that, Mary? I sure do. I wouldn't want to be without my cat. No, no. And Not I wouldn't want to. If somebody yeah, threatened to kick my, my cat, wouldn't my, my dog ever? Yeah. You should see my cat and dog. You know how they say cat and dogs don't get along? Mm. You know what? My, my cat and my dog will walk around the park and then we walk together. <laughs> they actually took a picture of it from the union. Oh, wow. That's yeah, pretty cute. Yeah. But they do. It's all in how people treat their animals. That's true. I mean, you can take, go get the kitty or whatever, mm -hmm. but you don't want... And my cat will literally lay there in the yard. I don't know if you see it yet. And the, the birds will actually sit on them. Really? Yeah, and the squirrels, and he, he just ignores them, mm. you know. You know, you don't have to be mean, and you don't have, not all, you know, if you feed your cats well, and you show them you love. Feed them, you love, and then you need to let them, you yep. give them a place to go to the bathroom right. and let yep. them outside. Yeah, yeah. it's all right. Yep. They don't need much. They're no. I have pigeons. That, uh, every time you go to take a picture of a pigeon, I have my flagpole. Mm -hmm. And every time, because the bird will sit on it, and just try to please don't poop on it, you know. But I'll take a picture. <laughs> I get ready to take a picture of them sitting on the on the top there, and the eagle, and boom, they go. <laughs> uh, they know. Oh, yeah. Well, I, they had a, a, what kind of a bird was that, Scott, that killed that pigeon? Oh, it was like a Like a hawk, the silver hawk. And I'm, I could look into the eyes, and the eyes of the bird was like saying, help me, help me, was already gone, you know. And the bird saw me, and they finally left, mm. you know. But they don't kill unless they're hungry. Mm. But they're savages. Oh, yeah. You know. And then somebody ran over, uh, over oh, yeah, over a possum right next to us, Mary. And yeah. the, the police were called. The animal control officer was called. Nobody came around. So Scott and I did. We put it. We had a little ceremony. Mm. You know, because you know what? That's wrong. Yeah. You know, it really. Our animal control office is supposed to be picking up the dead bodies, but they don't. I guess they're too busy having coffee. Well, if you're down south, they just they just eat the the roadkill that they find. That's been there laying there for quite a while. Yeah. You uh, know, Norm. Last week when uh, Chris, you know, Brown was on singing. Yeah. And I, took, I was, you know, calling him while he was singing. And all at once, I, I don't know what you would call it, but I know they, when you watch TV on uh, different shows, they call them orbs, the round one. Yeah, orbs, yeah. And one came yeah. from, like, from where I sat, mm -hmm. right in the back of where he was sitting, singing, and it went right out like it was going out to the wall. Right. I took a picture of it. Right. Orbs are another form for angels. Mm -hmm. Okay. It? Yep. It's another form Spirit. of angels. Yeah. And some night, Mary, one of the things you could do, I would encourage you to do, is shut all like, your lights off in your bathroom and uh -huh. look into your mirror and you'll see a lot of orbs or a, a little, people call them, they look like little dots. Mm -hmm. You know what they are, right? I know what they are. Yeah. yeah. And they look like little dots. They're your angels, like protecting you, like your mother or. Uh, different angel from another area, and that's what they are yeah. in there. Yeah, that means that that man was a very sacred man that was singing. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah. And, um, and my sister Glenn, he was on that day. And I said, "Did you just see what I just saw?" He says, "Cause I saw it on my on my camera." He said, well, "I saw nothing, but I caught it on my camera." Well, not a lot of people are not supposed to see him. No, no. See, well, I caught see, it. Yeah, see, you were privileged. 
Mary yes. also will have a white feather come down here. Yes. yes. I see one occasion. Little feathers. But like, just yeah. like little, yeah. almost like yeah. out of the corner of your eye, you can see almost like a, not a fluttering, but like yeah. light blinking right. lights, yeah. and then yeah. you go to look and it's gone. Yeah. 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 Over there, we got like three or four women that stay over there. They have these people that come up from Maine. They have a, uh, what do they call it? I call it paradise, but anyways, uh, they go looking into the spiritual world. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. What is that word? They're like paranormal type paranormal, people, Paranormal, yeah. that's it. And this one woman was sitting there, and this one spirit I had never, ever saw it before was talking to her. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, wow. And uh, I've never seen her come out since. Hmm. Yeah. You know, spirits come out when they want to. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, they really yeah. do. Yeah, it's just like that picture I showed you, Nan, when I yeah. was last time I was in New Bedford. Right. And I took a picture of that one corner because she had something there that I wanted to take a picture, and, and it was an angel I caught. Yeah. He took the picture. He couldn't catch it. Nope. I took another picture. I caught it. He couldn't catch nothing on his on your camera or anything. It's always meant for you. There are just certain things that angels are meant. Like, I'm going yeah. to, a week from this Saturday, I'm going to be doing a private party. Mm -hmm. And I got like, I think, 25 people coming in for the reading. I know I'm going to be exhausted. I better have a J on my side, you know. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, and over and up in the upper corner of their house, uh, there are uh, two women that uh, just sit there to make sure everything is going smoothly, you know. And like in your office, you know, you have a male spirit in your in your office. Leave them there. Don't try to get rid of them. You know, it's it's been helping me with my clients. I've actually had some of my clients say I felt so, I felt somebody else's hands on me. And yeah. if that client, you know, and the one I think I found about one angel, if they don't like somebody in there, you're not, they're not going to be make you very comfortable, mm. you know. And uh, but so far. I've been blessed, and you know, and I think Mary has too. Well, Mary, we're gonna let you go, All and right. I want, and we'll see you next. Probably, I'll let you know for sure by Saturday, okay? Okay, Norm. We'll right. See you tomorrow, uh, Dr. Jody. Yep. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye, bye now. Yep. Bye. 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 She sounds so upbeat, doesn't she? She does. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. When I don't hear from her, I worry. Yeah, because we don't live that far apart, but like mm -hmm. I said, we've been together for, you know, actually, people, my ex-wife and I thought Mary and I were gonna get married. Really? And I said, Joyce, you've been married a couple of years, you know. Mary and I are just very, very good friends, you know. The sad part, you know what I find interesting? Like, if two men live together, they're automatically considered gay. But yet, it's, you know, but yet if two women live together, that's more acceptable. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's just, what a travesty. Yeah, it's, again, it's the way people per perceive it. Perceive things. it, yeah, you know. And all my roommates are always straight. Mm. You like that uh, three years company? <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, that was a long time ago. One, yeah. Yeah, that, you know, so I was the oddball. But you know what? As long as you can get along with each other, that's mm -hmm. all that matters. Mm -hmm. You can't have a lot of people living with you. No, I, I kind of do, but no, I'm, I like my space. Yeah, I think we all do. I think after a while, we, we, we had this one guy that used to live with us, and I had to. We had to finally end up with because he's caused a lot of tension. I would take it on everybody else. Mm -hmm. And you don't threaten to grab me by the throat and then you got to make it okay, you know. Right. One of them I'm also looking at, I'm going to have you shuffle me. Want to try a new deck of cards? I here? do. I think those are so cool. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, my friends that live in the Bahamas, they live to me. There's no jokers in there, any? Nope. A lot of times if there I don't pay it because I know how to use the jokers. Ah. Okay. Scott, can you fill this up for me? Mary, I mean, <laughs> Mary, you're on a mine again. <laughs> Dr. Jody, her author is a Drake it now? Drake it. Yes. Okay. And you have a phone number? I do, 978-476-1184. Okay. So, you have any questions you don't want to ask on the air, you can call her and she'll be very happy to you can call, you can text, you can go to my website. And your website is? Uh, Nature's Way Holistic Health dot com. Um, I also have a Facebook page, Nature's Way Holistic Health. And the one thing about her, ladies and gentlemen, and like she just said, if she doesn't know the answer, she'll either look it up to try to find the answer, mm -hmm. or she's going to send you something. You can do the research. Yeah, I, exactly. You know, again, 
with all the schooling that I've had, you know, it did, sometimes that mind goes blank. Yeah. This is our reading, folks. We'll see what the spirit's going to say. What do you got? You're not done educate. Remember I told you a long time ago you were not done educational-wise. Yeah. Yeah, I did. And for the longest time I wasn't done. Yeah. But I found, I found a way, which is good. Yeah. I still see you going to Canada. I. Uh, you have a passport? No. You better get one. Otherwise you'll lose some money. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I, I have ancestors. Well, I have relatives that have had You have a lot of ancestry up in Canada. Yeah, area. Near in Quebec and Both also in Newfoundland. Yep, I have uh, my father's side came in for the Newfoundland side, and my mother's side was in the Quebec side. Yeah. So you, okay, I want you to take out seven cards since we don't have any money here. Yet. Seven. Can you count that high? No. Okay. Thank you, Scott. Okay. Yeah, Hudson have a breathing problem? He's a smoker. No smoking? Yeah. I feel a lot of congestion in there. Mm -hmm. okay. He's not going to listen to anybody. Mm -mm. He's going to stop what he wants to. Ten dollars a pack, huh? Uh, he is actually rolling his own now, so. That's even worse? It's a lot cheaper, cheaper. but yeah. Uh, um, I actually will tell you, I do see him giving them up. Yeah, I think he does have a plan. Yeah. But I also, I'm hoping that it's not too late, okay? Can I do see some, you know, some uh, problems within the lung area, so you're gonna have to work on the lung area, and I'm seeing him gasping for air and all that, too. And he's a very hard-working young man, mm -hmm. okay? And does he supervise? Mm -hmm. Okay. But he's earned his way to do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. What if I told you I saw him do, moving to a different company? Really? Because he swears he's not going to do it. Okay. Because he's been with he's been his here. company for like 20 years. Yeah. For 20 years. Well, I think that's going to be because I've seen some financial problems with the company he works for. It's a big company. And I see them being sold. Okay. And I don't want to see him lose the benefits he's already had. Mm. Okay. Is he an IT man? Not really. No. But he's smart at what he does. He does, yeah. yeah. And he's Mr. Dependable. Mm-hmm. He doesn't miss time. Not a lot, no. I don't think he's got a bad hangover. No, there you go. We won't go there. <laughs> now, you two are as different as night and day, but you two have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time to make your son grow up. I know, I know. I've, it's not procrastinating. I, I'm, I've tried. In, in certain ways, but again, I don't like to, I'm, I'm a Libra, I don't like conflict, so. You, know, you gotta start being more assertive, mm -hmm. okay? All he does is his music, right? For the most part, yeah. that I know of. I mean, I know he goes out and he, I don't know what he does yeah. while he's out, but he does go out. I don't see anything more than part. No. Okay. No. Uh, he, he, and the thing is, he's a very good musician. He can play really well. Mm -hmm. But you know what I've also found? And if people depend too much on the band and being in a band and being successful, and that's what you need to have another job to back on up. Then the spirit will honor you. Mm -hmm. okay? And that's one thing I have found when, like, when I look at around with people, and I see like when my son had to work in order to be as success as he was. You know? mm -hmm. Boy, you've been through some heavy poo poo, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. And but it's getting better. Okay. And all the. I know it's a scary chance that you opening your office like that. And yeah. you just moved here, right? Um, a little over a year ago, yeah. yeah. And slowly pick it up. It is. See, people are afraid of the unknown. Mm -hmm. That's like what, what the work I do. Mm -hmm. I was like a pioneer in Manchester. You, they had other ones. Mm -hmm. And people, like, they're afraid, oh, but the doctor says this. And you must run into a lot of that every I, day, yes. right? You have to bite your teeth. And grit and bear. Just don't break them off when you're biting them. Exactly. By the way, be very careful taking your teeth out when you're cleaning them because I see a snap. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to tell you to put a towel around there because you can be very clumsy. I can be, yeah. The building that you have your office in, is it a, a, brick, a brick building or a wooden building? It's a wooden building. Because it's kind of old? It's very old. Okay, why do I see a fire? I'm not trying to scare it, you when you think you're aware. It may have. No, I see a fire coming. Oh, coming. Okay. And make sure you have plenty of insurance. I'm not trying to be rude when I say that. You've got to protect your assets. Okay. There's somebody else. Oh, I've got to put your mic up closer. Joker. The Joker is intensifying the meaning of a lot of different countries. What did you say? You should use the mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Joker is a, a, another term for a, like an elusive butterfly. Okay. Okay. You, uh, you're like an elusive butterfly. You jump from one decision to another until you finally decide where you want to go. Mm -hmm. okay. Does that make sense? But when you do, you become very dogmatic about it. Mm -hmm. Hey, I used a big word. <laughs> Lori would be proud of me, you it's know. The the and that's what it means, folks. It is a joker. But it also means that you, and there are times when you have a dual personality. Mm -hmm. You have like, when we, you know, as you, I believe everybody is born with a dual personality. Like with me, I probably have several, but one moment they call it bipolar because they don't know of any other word to you. Right. Okay, so I, I'm a true believer in that. Um, ooh, you, know how, you know how I asked you if your, your mother was still alive? Mm hmm Okay, how old is she? Uh, I believe she's in her 70s. Okay, I don't see her in good health. Mm. Okay, this is why you need to make amends for you. Mm. Not for her, but it would help her as well. But, I also would probably encourage you to you know, Facebook her or text her or what, maybe plan a vacation, go down and see her. Because I do know that her spirit is telling me that she wants to see you, okay? And if you don't, you're going to really truly feel guilty. And you don't want that on your shoulders, okay? No. no. And your dad is still alive? Mm-hmm. Kind of cantankerous? I don't know. I haven't seen my father in like 20 years. What if I told you I could see a reunion between you and your dad? You would be awesome when it would really work. I'm not going to say it's going to happen right away, but I know that with your permission, I would like to put it out there for him to come and search you. I don't want you searching him, but I want him to search you. you know? yeah, he's, um, he's, he's got dementia, Alzheimer's. Right. So you may have to go and find him then. Mm -hmm. the, see, people don't realize that it, 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 the hell of stuff we've been to, to be where we are today. People don't really, we've gone through it. We don't mm -hmm. need to, you know. Sometimes we have to hit rock bottom in order I to pull ourselves back oh, up. Oh, yeah. And then. I've had to do it several times. And this time I'm on the right path, you know. As long as I don't pick up that drink, I'm okay. Because mm -hmm. I know once I pick up that drink, you might as well forget it. And the spirit show me where I would have lived. And I don't like that too well, <laughs> you know. I also see that you, I would also probably encourage you not to have a, a partner in your office, mm -hmm. okay? You're too independent no more. Mm -hmm. And whoever will want to be sharing your office with you, I don't see them pay, pay their share. And you're too nice. I am. And we have to be your husband telling them. Because <laughs> he would not be nice at all about mm -hmm. it. He'd be polite, but he would get to a point, okay? Right. Boy, you don't like making decisions, huh? You had to ponder them all out? A lot of the kind, yeah. yeah, again, I don't... I want you to become, learn how to become more spontaneous. Like, going to school, like you said, the study called the acupunt pressure. Mm hmm Okay. Did you have to weigh that all out before you went, or did you it spontaneously? I did it spontaneously. Good, good. When you cook a meal, do you plan your menu out for a week? I try and get into the habit, but no. You can't, because you know and I know that... You say, oh, tonight we'll have beans and hot dog. Tomorrow we'll have spaghetti. When it, Wednesday's with spread spaghetti day. Mm -hmm. and, 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 but where you're always eating on the run. Okay. You spend a lot of hours in your office? I'm starting to. And that, that spirit says it's been bored. Mm. And it's going to get lonely. And it's going to get boring when you can write your book now. Mm -hmm. By the way, you have a book out, right? I have a book being edited right now, yes. Okay, what's it called? I'm not really sure of the name okay. for it yet. But do you have another one? I have two books out. Yeah, okay. And you want to tell the people what they are? Uh, my first book is Changing Your Life to Become a Better You. Um, it's a basic guide into people who want to start being healthy but don't know where to start. It's a good guide book for that. Um, and my second book is uh, Herbal Antibiotics for the Beginner, and it's 
um, the herbs for the different systems and how to incorporate them into your body. You enjoy writing? I do. I'm it's not a big type huh? of person. I mean, if I could speak into it, it'd be a lot easier. You can. But you can get those. Uh, yeah, I think it's dragon things. things are, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. Cause it helps you. But I'm a world worst speller. And I have a lot of time to do that. Sometimes I'll speak through my nose when I tell you how to make it even harder. For the next two months, you've got some more decisions to make, okay? And um, you might have to uh, expand. Can you expand where you are? Not really, no. Okay. Within the next two years, you're going to have to get a moving up. So you have one for your classroom because you're going to be teaching as well. I'd like to be teaching, yeah. Okay. I want you to believe that you're going to be teaching. However, I'll, you want it that separate from your practice room, okay? Mm -hmm. Because that way you don't get all that mixed energy feeling, mm -hmm. okay? You really got to get a passport. Your husband likes to travel? Not as much as he used to. Mm -hmm. um, no, you two can travel together. Mm -hmm. okay. I actually see him doing it in a different position, maybe the same company, but a different position with a little more money, which could require him to do some traveling. he got a gift of gab when he gets going. Mm -hmm. But he also can be very introverted, too. You actually brought a lot of the introversion out of him, haven't you? I think so. When you met, were you sure you wanted to go with him? No, no, he was... It's just supposed to be somebody I, I saw once in a while. <laughs> Isn't it how the spirit works? Yeah. I think so. No regrets. However, yeah, no, he, he fell on my doorstep and, yeah. He hadn't left yet, huh? No. Nope. Well, I that's actually, why I say he came from the, the, the angel sent to me. They did. You know, that's what I actually see your son meeting some lady friend and actually find the same thing. And she's going to say, if you don't, if you want to go out with me, you're going to get a full-time job. And I actually see him actually moving out. Good. I don't want to see hostility of his movement out, though. No. No, I no. don't either. No, because he can be very selfish. Yeah, he's very short-fused, we'll call it. See, for some reason, he's blaming you, maybe subconsciously, for him not getting a job and not working. So now you can not see your dad or whatever. He has a lot of anger issues, but he doesn't know who he should be doing it with, okay? I can see that. And it's all, and you know what? Don't you put up with any of his BS. Mm. Okay, I don't believe your husband would. Mm -mm. Okay, he's very fortunate to have the home many. How old is he? Twenty six, twenty seven. Twenty seven. Ah, uh, there's your love. Don't you like the colors? Yeah, One thing I won't tell you is that your you, your love is very strong for people. Mm -hmm. So you're really in a happy energy for sure, you know. And I think that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually will tell you the love that's going to teach you when you. The things that you're learning, you're learning with love. So this is what's going to make you more successful. You're not done with education by a long shot. No, I'm, I'm sure I have much more to learn. Yeah. When we start thinking that we have learned it all, then we've actually learned nothing. Mm. I'm looking at within the next 13 weeks or 13 months, your mother's going to be... Well, I see her having a lot of forgetfulness. So it's up to you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, Skype her or phone her or whatever, you know. Do you have a brother? I have three. Three? You along okay with them? I don't really see them. Um, I, I do have a brother that just actually came up for a visit and, left, and just left. And it went well, right? For the most part, uh, yeah. See, you, one thing about you is when you, you have, uh, you're forgiven to a point, mm -hmm. but you also have that wall. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to break through that wall on you. Okay, and I think that could be a good thing. Scott, what we'll close that door, please? Yeah. I don't need to hear all those other people, do you? <laughs> no. no. And I also, I'm going to do a few more. Ooh, clover, clover, all right. The decisions you, you got to weigh out and weigh out, but they're always going to come up with the right, right one. It's okay to make a mistake. I'm learning that, actually. Okay. You don't have to be perfect. Now, I, I'm actually, is your husband a little bit overweight? No. I, I wouldn't say overweight. He's got a little pot belly? A little bit, okay. yeah. Well, I, I'm concerned about something that might, uh, some burning sensation in his tum tum. Hmm. I'll okay. have to find out. Will he admit it? Probably not. Yeah. The macho man. Yeah, he no, he's, yeah. Good. 
Are you a sports fan? In the fall, yeah. Football. Football. We're going to win the Super Bowl again. Again. How boring. No, it's, it's always exciting when they play. Uh, I wish I had more fist fights. <laughs> like in hockey. Like in hockey? Yeah. I think we're going to win the Stanley Cup. I'm a little bit hesitant to I already said we're going to win the, the Solstice. I'm worried about them making me out a liar, you know? Mm. Ooh, look at this. Diamond. Diamonds are always a good reflection. Okay. And a diamond's going to make, because you are very diligent in what you're doing, mm -hmm. it's going to take you a lot, like a, nine more months to see a lot of progress coming for you. You are going to learn patient, patient, patient. And you're very short on patience. But in your uh, office, mm -hmm. you're learning. Learning, yes. Isn't, I mean, oh, I'm a very impatient person. I'm, I'm a lot different person in my office than I am at home. Because in my office, I feel like I can just breathe. But don't worry, the, the, the clients will come as you need them, mm -hmm. okay? Because with you, 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 I don't want to see you overbooking, okay? You and I had the tendency to do that, you know? Oh, no, what did I do? I've done that in the past. Oh. I think I did that to you one time. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, you really don't like making decisions, do you? No major decisions, no. No, but you got to have to. One thing about you and your husband is that you, when you have a decision that could be pretty major, you two talk it over. Mm hmm Okay? You usually win. If, if I feel I'm in the right, yes. Right. Well, no, you're the first one to admit if you're in the wrong. Oh, okay? absolutely. But you allow him to think he's winning once in a while. Isn't that nice of you? <laughs> is he a good barbecue cook? Yes. Better than you? Some things, yeah. yeah. You eat a lot of red meat? I don't, or I try not to. Well, you need that red meat at times, okay? Either that or you're going to have to take iron pills. Yeah, well, I get that type of blood we do. Uh, I, everybody said, oh, you should have that, you should have this, you know what? When I, I, I'm, I'm a borderline vegetarian, mm -hmm. but then again, I steam my meat too. So, all that. Sometimes, you have a steamer? I do. Sometimes when you take chicken, chicken breast, mm -hmm. put it in your steamer, and look at how much sugar just falls out of it. It's amazing, amazing what the, it comes out of. Half the stuff you see that comes out makes you like, do I really want to eat this? <laughs> you know? You, I don't know what's an eggplant. Do you like eggplant? It's certain ways, yes. Yeah, you need to have more eggplant. The ingredient, I'm not sure what it is, but you need to have that. Okay. Mm. You like asparagus? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You need to have more of that, too. Whatever there is in the environment for the veggies, there's always a, some reason for them. Right. Like, if you had turnips, turnips are one of the biggest horrible tasting. I don't mind turnips biggest. too, too much. Right, you know. I'm sorry? I don't mind that no. taste of those too much. Yeah. I like them in a, like a beef stew. Yeah. Okay, or I like, when you put them in the oven, put Roasted, a little sugar, yes. yeah, roast them, put a little cinnamon and sugar mm -hmm. on them. But turnips are one of the healthiest vegetables going. And also, very much a cancer anti-cancer so it'll help you mm -hmm. keep free from cancer, okay? Well, as I say about health diet, look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, you and your husband have uh, like a lot, th at least 16 to 20 more years together. That's good. I actually see you win a wedding ring. But you're okay the way it is today. I, I yeah, I'm perfectly okay. Again, marriage, it's just a word. these days, it just, yeah, yeah it's... It. That's right, you know, they talk about the gay community. Look how you're getting divorced already, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Scott and I are spiritually married. Yeah. You know? They spend all that time saying, you know, want to get married, want to get married, and they, they're like, no, you don't. And then when they finally say, okay, you can get married, and then, yeah, it's... I did a marriage for a gay couple, and I'm not saying all gays are not going to, you know, hmm. that's normal, normality of today, one of the... 50% of the people that get married today get divorced or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I did this beautiful gay wedding. I mean, it was a dream come true type. Mm -hmm. Two years later, now I'm going to get divorced. Mm -hmm. yeah, see? So, but I can't say anything because my ex, my third ex-wife and I got married. We spent like $12,000. A year later, I said, I walked out. Yeah, see, it's just, it's... When it's about money and, you know what, people, a lot, don't you think that a lot of people get married and when they do, they go overboard? They do. 
and the parents, and half the parents probably can't even afford to pay mm-hmm. for the wedding. Mm-hmm. But because mama says I'm going to do it that way. Right. You know. Yep, have this big wedding. And yeah, then it doesn't work out. It's just, it's, nobody wants to work at it these days. I mean, just like anything else, marriage, is, it's hard work. Yeah. Or being, you know, yeah. being in a relationship, it's, it's hard work. And, every day, every mm-hmm. day, you know. I, how, like I said, when it's crying, I always put up with me, huh. you know. But what is it now, April, what is your sister's name, April? April. Okay. Now, is that Brian's mother? Mm-hmm. Okay. She must have had her hands full with him when he was younger. With the two of them, yeah. When they had, oh, she had another kid, too? Yeah, she's got a daughter. Brian, I like it. He's a, well, he tells it like it is. His language is unparable. Yeah. No, he's a good kid. Yeah. Tell me, tell me how he fights with the t- customers. Oh, mm. my gosh. You can't be doing that. <laughs> you know? Well, apparently in Market Basket, you can. Yep. I, I have seen some very rude people working at right, Market yeah, Basket, yeah. and then I've seen some very nice ones. So it's yeah. Oh, yeah. For the most part, some of the people are really nice. But mm. when the, You know what my biggest gripe is? They feel like they're doing you a favor by cashing you out. I'm not saying all of them, mm. but a lot of them. And I'll say, don't you know how to smile? But then again, you've got to realize, working with the public is hard work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, some of the public people there are just as rude to them, too. Absolutely. And I can be, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But one thing I'm also going to tell you that when your sister's daughter, how old is she? Uh, 22, maybe 23. Pretty independent lady. For the most part. A lot of anger issues. Mm-hmm. Is you, is and that's, you, I think, that goes through my entire family. That there's yeah. a lot of Isn't it my, mine too. You know, there's no such thing as a like a Wally. What is it? Uh, leave it to Beaver type family. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. as far as I can see, I've never seen a perfect family yet. Mm-hmm. You know, if you do, then there's something really wrong. Yeah. One of the biggest things I always tell people is communication. It's the biggest part of your relationship. Mm-hmm. You and your husband talk a lot. That's what I tell you. First thing is communication. Don't yep. lose it. And never go to bed angry at each other. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you may wake up in the morning still angry but not know why. You're also a very forgiving person. I am. For the most part. Yeah. For all parts. Well, yeah. yeah. But you got to do it for you. Mm-hmm. you need to, have you forgiven your ex-husband? I have because I don't want to give him the power. Right. See, that's what I'm saying. You hear that, folks? Well, if you don't forgive them for you, any negative energy, you're still letting them control your mm-hmm. life. And half, like when I let go and the people up in Springfield and the one went from, the half of them probably didn't even know why I was mad at them or mm-hmm. whatever. And then once I let go of that, because I didn't allow that to control my life, then I got along a lot better. Once we learn how to say, it is okay, but well, now I'm going to do it for me. Right. You don't have to, you know, forgive the person. But, oh, well, forgive the actions of what I tell you people. You don't have to forget them. Do no. Me, but you do have oh, to forget them. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, forget. Oh, I tell a lot of people, you'll never forget. Hmm. You'll always remember. Yeah, and what he did wasn't right. No. You know, or what, whoever yeah. wasn't or whatever, right. right. But, you know, you, you have to do it for yourself. Right. If you can't do it for yourself, then you know what? You've lost. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've seen people go through one marriage after another, one relation, and they're coming out even more hostile, more angry. And I tell them, you know what? Then you're not doing it for yourself. Yeah, if you go into a marriage angry, you're you're definitely coming out angry. Right. Yeah. And I'm the type of person that should, you know, like I said, I've been married several times. I have what they call a detached personality. You know what that is, right? Mm-hmm. I can love someone only so much. I can't see and see people swapping tongues and hugging and kissing. But you know what? That's who I am. Mm-hmm. And I never ask anybody to do anything differently, you know. I'll never be ashamed of who you are. That's true. You can, whoever you really are, you can correct if you think it's mm-hmm. bad. Mm-hmm. Never, you know, and the worst part is sitting there feeling sorry for yourself. You're not a body with a spirit. You're a spirit with a body. Right. You know, and the one thing, you know, like I always tell people, my, Ginger says to me, I looked up, she looked up the dictionary, it's no such word as pity pot. I'm sorry, my fine book, and pity pot. 
<laughs> it's like no, you know, it's like sitting on the toilet pot, you know, the old thing. And oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do that. But you know what? As long as you sit there and feel sorry for you and stuff, you're not going to do it. I'm, I'm seeing many, many, and like in you, I'm seeing many, many people who, like you have, mm -hmm. we've lost everything. I know what it's going to be with poverty. You do too. Mm -hmm. But when you learn how to not be that way anymore, then you grow. Mm -hmm. You know, Absolutely. and you can grow. You can. You can. You can be the poorest person on the planet, and you can still grow from that. Yeah. I may not have a lot of money, but you know what? Spiritually, I'm growing a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm a lot happier. You look a lot happier. Yeah. I bet probably five years ago, maybe ten years ago. Oh, definitely. No. You know, abundance isn't just about money. No. You know, wealth isn't just about money. You know, I have a great boyfriend. I have a home, I have a roof over my head. You know, I have an office that I can practice in. I do have clients that do come and see me. I you know, some pretty good friends, so... You know, I'm wealthy and abundant in that way. You right. Know? Well, that's the way I feel, too. You know, when I start wondering, how am I going to meet the bills? Spirit always oh, come through and help me meet the bills, you know. Mm -hmm. We can, you know, folks, even though you can do it, too. Mm -hmm. Well, that's we're talking right. about, I mean, what do you can do it, too? You know, you can become, you know, I, well, I had a good job. I had a partner previously that. We earned a good salary, good, like you probably had, and, but I was never happy. Mm. Yeah, it's funny because when I was doing that corporate, I was making some good money. Um, but I used to say I would rather be doing a job that I absolutely love for less money yep. than doing it, making money for a job I hate. Right. See, I was all about material things. Mm. You would have loved my bar I had in my apartment. <laughs> we had the mirrors in the ceiling, big mirrors in the back, the disco light, all kinds of booze. But you know what? I still wasn't happy. Mm -mm. No, material things don't make you happy. No. Nope. And uh, what, what, what actually made me happy was realizing that people that lived in the whole shelter there had meals in the shelter, um, it made me become very humble. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I always remember this. One man says to me, oh, have you lowered yourself to us? Uh, and that was the turn. I said, no, sir. You two, you guys are above me. Mm-hmm. And then a lady gave me a pair of sneakers, which a lot of people, you know, to her, it was just that. But, and that's what's a turning point. Then mm -hmm. I had another lady say to me, I was sitting there feeling, like, who the hell are you? I have AIDS. I may not wake up tomorrow. I may not see my kids grow up. So who the hell do you think you are? And I'm going, well, I don't uh, no, no, she didn't listen to it. Her boyfriend came and got me up at 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, I still have my cucumbers in my eyes and all that. And... That's what, when my life really changed. Mm -hmm. I never knew, forgive me for saying this, for how hard it was to be a working class person. Mm -hmm. And I always had that profession. But yeah. I don't ever want to be, uh, what I'm doing now, I love what I'm doing. And you're the same way. I do, I absolutely love what I'm doing. You were a working class person? Or mm -hmm. you, okay, you're, were you a professional? Or? I was a phlebotomist, so I've been working in the medical field for quite some time. Okay. So actually, that, that's a, 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 not a real, is that considered a working class? Yeah, I, mean, I was making some pretty decent money. Yeah, I, I, I know I sound like a snob, but you know yeah. what I'm saying. But um, I love who I am. I worked at a recycle center, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, you know what? I made a lot of, everybody is human. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I was a phony. Yeah, yeah it, it really makes you wake up when you see people in that position. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've, I've kind of lived a little bit on that lower end all my life, so I've seen, you know. Um, I, I've lived on both ends. I used to my foster family; they were they were fairly wealthy, um, so I got to see both ends of it. And it, when you see somebody sleeping on the street, or you know, um, coming up today on Elm Street, um, the, the panhandlers that are out there, it, it's actually hard for me to see people out there doing that. You know, well, I know some of them are out there kind of scamming people, but th there are some people that actually generally need yeah. help. Oh, yeah. I think everybody, even the ones that are sitting here, think they don't need the help. Mm -hmm. And some of them do have apartments, some of them do have, mm -hmm. you know, all this stuff. But then the ones that, put, the sad ones that really need the help, mm -hmm. and but they're too proud to really go get it, you know. Because mm -hmm. I don't care who you are, everyone needs a kit kicking their butt to boost themselves up, mm -hmm. you know. And, and can be done. Yeah. You have to want to. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. You have to want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you know, you end up by heartbreak when they ask for money and stuff like that. And I really want to do it, but no. Yeah, no, the money. I mean, I, I, I would give them food or mm -hmm. you know a phone number for a job, but 
Yeah, no money. I was talking to somebody about this the other day. I'm like, just, just don't give them money. <laughs> no. There was a person I know, I'm not saying what, that bought three apartment buildings. You know, he's redoing them all. And he offered some a home for like 15 people that were home. He offered to give them each a home. He would pay for a year rent, rent free. He would pay the light bill, the whatever they need mm -hmm. to have, and all that. And all they would have to do was buy their own food. He would even supply the, the Wi-Fi for the cable. Even mm -hmm. Only three out of the 15 took him up on it. Wow. And that breaks my heart. That, yeah. So, okay. Unfortunately, I don't know if they like living this way. They become a you know, used to it. Well, you know, there's this, this saying kind of out there these days that, you know, people like feeling that way. Um, a majority of the time when I say it, it you know, people actually like being in pain because at least, you know, they're being paid attention to, they're being taken care of, they're being, you know, what have you. So that's why a lot of the times I think some of the issues with people coming to me is they don't want to feel better, you know. They get so used to not feeling well. They don't think they can ever feel well, you know, and I, I think that that's also the case with, you know, the people out on the street. Yeah. You know, some of them like it, or some have been down there too long that they don't yeah, think that they yeah, can. They can have it. And yeah. then, you know, I mean, if it's really that bad, you either, you know, I'm sorry, perish on the street or you do something about it. Yeah. Well, I have a client that comes in from Connecticut, mm. and he has lived with so much negative energy, no matter how much energy I work with him on, no matter what I do. I'm not a miracle worker. I'll hmm. never say I am. I'm only an instrument, like you are, okay? Right. And uh, I'm not, not a friend of mine. We both have worked on him. And I, he doesn't feel like I spent an hour and a half working on him. His body was so tense that, uh, I mean, you could see it was hurting him when I was releasing his, mm -hmm. the energy in it. And he felt good for a week to two. And next thing you know, he's right back again. He does. Some of them do not know how. I, I actually have a client very similar. You know, and you know that's like like you just said with the homeless people. I've had there was this one man I'll never forget. It. He loved laying there by the railroad tracks, mm -hmm. listening to the vibration of the train, and living on like on a wild side. What is alive now or not? I I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and, but that was his life. Mm -hmm. That was his style. And the thing was, he's a pretty smart man, mm -hmm. you know. Like well, the, you sometimes, know. That, you know, spirit puts you here for a reason. Yeah. You know. And I when it's cold out, I always tell people my door is open to. However, you cannot smoke or drink in my house. Mm. I don't drink it. I don't expect somebody else to. Right. To, okay. I don't smoke, and they can smoke outside. You know. My daughter-in-law and that's a little different. I just open up the door to the window, <laughs> you know. But if there's somebody in my house, he respects me enough not to right. do that. You know. Respect. Yeah. When you, the house that you live in, you've been there a long, you know, is it you was in your husband's house? Uh, no, we bought the house together. Okay. Um, he had actually lived in the apartment previous to us meeting, but. You want to sell that house? Uh, I do. He doesn't. Not right now. I'm looking at three years. He's going to get into you. Yeah. But you're going more in the country. Yeah, we'd like to, to move further up. North. Are you a country lady? I am, yes. I'm, I'm not much of a city person, so. Did you live in the country growing up? No, mm -hmm. mostly the suburbs. I grew up in the country, and I know it's like that. I had running water and all that other stuff. You know how they say you can take the person out of the country, you can't take the person? Mm -hmm. Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a oh, nature person. I love to, you know, put my feet yeah, on the ground. Yeah. I love to... Yeah. See, I think all my life I've ran around bare feet. Now my feet are sucking the consequences of it mm -hmm. now because when I take my shoes, I ache and all that stuff. So, you know. But uh, we also, Scott and I have talked about maybe getting a mobile, double line mobile home and moving on the outskirts. Because mm -hmm. I still want to stay in Manchester so I can keep my show going. Right. You know. And maybe do rather than office. Oh, you know? excuse me. Yes. We not boring to you? No. Been a long day. No, you know what? There's lack of oxygen going to. Yeah, there's not a lot of air you know. in here. Usually, it's so hot in here you can't. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. One of the one of the things that what do you feel that you have accomplished so far? Uh, personally or professionally? Both. Personally, 
Um, I've learned a lot about myself. Um, things that I didn't think I could accomplish, I've accomplished. Um, professionally, um, I have been surprised at pretty much everything that I've done. Because originally, you know, all of us don't come into this, this field knowing that the work that we're doing is working for people until we get the validation from our clients. Um, and it's been recent that I've actually seen it without the validation from them. I've actually seen them getting better and feeling better and doing better and getting healthier. You know, I can, I can see it now. So it's, that's pretty much professionally how I feel. Isn't, isn't it tremendous? It is. I, I, I am so blessed with all the compliments I get on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of people that stick up for me, mm -hmm. you know, you know, like that, too. And, you know, I'm, I got called the other day a guardian angel, an earth angel. Mm -hmm. That meant more to me than anybody. I mean, Meg Carl got used to that, aren't you, you know? Yeah. And that's one woman, she would call me, she had tumors on her, on her tummy and on her arm. Mm -hmm. And we were selling what I like to call an uh, Energy healing when light, lightning bolts, you know, it looks like, like going mm -hmm. into, and she told me she could actually feel that the, the tumors were deceasing and where the nice. pain would be taken away. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other thing that I have learned is um, can't help everybody. No. You can and, only help the ones that want it. You know, I've had clients that have come in once, maybe twice, and say, you know, the, you'll get the, well, I'll call you if I need you kind of a thing. And it, it hurts a little at first, but... I'm used to it now. You, you yeah, you, you come to the conclusion. You, you can't help everybody. Not everybody's meant to be helped. Nope. And that's like with the people that come for readings. Uh, you know, I have a couple of oh, this and uh, that. They don't want to. They want to hear all good things. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I don't do that. As you know, I really don't. I don't have time to hold their hand and all that. And like one lady, she slaughtered me on Facebook with about a year ago. Like there was no, no actually like three years ago. Like there was no oh, tomorrow. I mean, she really slaughtered me. Mm -hmm. and then she texted me and said, "Oh, you were right. My son went to jail. Blah blah blah. <laughs> and they didn't do and all that." And so the people and she said, "I want to come and see you now." I said, "I'm sorry, I'm not interested." Mm. I said, "If you do, it's a hundred. Well, I can't say, but I would, gonna, I would double the prices just, yeah. you know, because I'm not going to waste my time now. Mm -hmm. I don't expect everybody to believe me, and no, I don't expect anybody to believe I don't what either, I do. Yeah. And you're it's, the same way. You know, I, I, I would like more believers, yeah. but, yeah, yeah, I mean, people learn on their at their own pace. Oh, hi, Claudette and Edgy. How are you, the two of my lady clients? Uh, okay. I torture them all the time because <laughs> I do the energy the way I do it spiritually. Mm -hmm. They know it. And they're just great people. So, Claudette, say, Claudette, this is my very good friend. Hi. So, hi there you go. Dr. Jody. Okay, she's... I love it. She, she's a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. she really is. Have you? I've never found anybody I don't like. Really? I can also say that. Do I like their ashes? No. But I can. I don't know how. Nor do I want to know. Mm -hmm. And you're probably the same way. You know, we may not like what they're doing. Right. Okay. And doesn't mean I'm going to run up and give them a hug and pat them. You know, whatever. And just, uh, I just don't know how. Mm -hmm. I've gotten beaten up and I walked over and shake their hand, saying, "But just don't turn your back on me." You know, I think one of the divine things that we have to, uh, I used a big word divine there, you know. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, but I think one of the things that if we're going to be doing what we're doing, we can, we have to learn how to forgive. Mm -hmm. But we have to learn how to forgive ourselves first. Mm -hmm. True. Okay. We have to learn to forgive ourselves. We have to learn how to love ourselves. And that makes us a winner. Mm -hmm. And you can see it all by Facebook when people leave the show. I don't believe in losers. Mm -mm. You're only a loser if you want to be. Right. Exactly. You know. You know. By the way, on your way home, you how far away do you live? Uh, about forty minutes. Oh, go pretty fast too. I try not. We won't tell. Yeah. Okay. But I want you to be aware of, do uh, you, you go the highway or the back way? I want you to be aware of someone trying to cross you on the wrong side. Okay, just be aware of that. Because then he's going to try to cut, or whoever's going to try to cut you off. So be double aware so we don't get into an accident. Mm -hmm. Your bone, I'm not saying you're going to get home, hurt, but you have some pretty, uh, pretty brittle bones. 
and your bones have got to be built up stronger. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to see you getting hurt, so please be aware of that. Okay. I don't want you to worry about it. Yeah, I don't want no, you to it, it, it happens more often than, yeah, than, than you yeah, would think. Yeah. But you're a good driver. Oh, God, that hurt me to be worse. <laughs> I don't think I've heard you say that to anybody yeah, before. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I try to be. You know, I'm, I'm not, I mean, maybe a, a little heavy on, but not too much. I mean, I, I've known cars, I've talked to cops. I know you can go at least five to ten miles over the speed line. I, I try and it stick to the five, the but... Yeah, it depends on who the cop is, you know. Yeah, so... You're a better driver than your boyfriend. Uh, no, he's, he's a very cautious driver. Well, that's why I say you're a, a good, because he's overly cautious mm -hmm. at times, okay? When it says 35, 35, when it says 50, 50, when he's backing up, he's double, you know, he's over -pretation. Or he'll take too long coming out of my parking lot or at a stop sign. Mm. And then that's where you learn patience. Yeah, yeah, no, he, he tends to look at everything else yeah. before he looks at the road. Yeah, he wants to make sure, mm -hmm. you know. And one of the things I do see in the company that he's working for, and that's a big change in over, okay? And he's been there over 20 years, mm -hmm. okay, because they really want to offer him a buyout. And there's a lot of things going on in there. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of chaos going on right now. Well, he's very patient with it. He's not patient at home, but he's very patient at work. Yeah, he, he, he tries to keep it separate, too. Leave work at work and home at home. And that's the way it should be, mm -hmm. you know. And one thing about you, you always let people know what you want them to know about you and not, you know. Right. So, so that's like when you were in the medical field. And, uh, what, well, how's it going? You go in and, that, Joe, did you hear about this and that? And, so you didn't sit there and let them know all about yourself. Yeah. You no, know? I, I'm, I'm not a big gossip person, no. so. Oh, I love to. But it doesn't pay. I don't mind hearing it. Yeah. But I don't, yeah. I don't participate. You know what? Too waste, too much of a waste of time. Mm. You know, it really is. And you know what? If I see and I and love, I'll go out to the park. They just rebuilt the basketball court over. There's no barrier in color of skin. Mm -hmm. They all play. Well, most of them are half of maybe you know, Dominicans, Republicans, and very few of you see white people there. You know, but they all play, and they play hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not nice to each other. <laughs> I I be punching them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When I mean, you know, and when I don't like it, I don't think it's cool. I don't care if they call it to themselves. They use the N word. You and I can't. Yeah, they can use it. Yeah. We can't use it. No. Yeah. When they can call us whiteies or snowflakes or whatever, but you know, it is what it is. It is. I mean, it's society we live in today. Yeah. Unfortunately. I've seen it's time to do the vacuuming. Yeah. They should have a stop there. But one thing that I'm also looking at too, as well, is that you know what. When I do readings on clients or people come to me, I don't know color. And you don't either. No. You know. People We're are people. Here. It yeah. doesn't matter if they're black, white, pink, yellow, brown. <laughs> I get a lot of people because I don't agree with, like, when Obama did or whatever, anyway, that I get called a racist or mm -hmm. hate of a black man, you know. It's a fun. If they have to stoop that low, I feel sorry for them. Mm -hmm. You know? And I feel we sorry all, for our country. We all come from spirit. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it just doesn't. I was reading a book not that long ago, and I actually had a lot more questions after I read the book because it was it was a guy, a psychiatrist who did past life regressions, but for this particular book, he did the life in between those past lives. Uh -huh. So, you know, our energy bodies, where we we go, what we do, you know, who we meet, how we how we choose our lives, and and so on and so forth. So. You know, I mean, some of us are up there that have incarnated a few times. We've come back. We've come back black, white, yellow, green, purple, <laughs> round, blue. I mean. Yeah. You know, you know, I've often said too, with all these people, and it's on both sides, both mm. colors, you know, white and black. And if we actually did a DNA test on us, I wonder how many people would come back as white or how many would come back as mm -hmm. you know, or Indian or whatever, you know. The sad <laughs> part is there's hatred among and. Every race. Every race. Mm -hmm. No, the people hate the Indian. The Indian. But we're taught that though. Yeah. We're not born that way. We no. are taught those those characteristics. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And isn't that sad? Mm -hmm. You know. But now it's like they get an everyday event. No, oh, let's go hate Joe. Let's go hate Joe. Let's go hate this one and that one. <coughs> then a parent taking the time to say, let's not hate. Let's mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. There's a lot more hate than love in the world right now. 
But we could change it. We could. Okay. I've often said I'd like to have an hour every day, one hour specifically, and just everybody shut down the computer and just go into a, a, a meditation site mm -hmm. and want to see how fast you know, the thing could change. Yeah, and then that's where I mean, a lot of people are detached these days. Yeah. They're not, you know, I was reading something the other day and it, it basically said that um, our vibrations to the earth have changed. Like we're not vibrating the same as the Earth's vibrating where we used to be before, you know, all the electronics and everything else came about. Um, and that's, you know, we should get back to that because that's where our love comes from. That's where, you know, our vibration comes with, you know, Mother Earth. She mm -hmm. shows us love and patience and calm and, you know, how, how the world should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, uh, I only thought if I didn't want Emma won the Mega Bucks or Powerball or the money so I can, I would actually buy a building if I could, you know, if it would, and I would actually have all fashion schools, mm -hmm. no computers, mm -hmm. the, the uh, cell phones are left at home, the teachers at Blackboard, they would touch, be teaching from a, a modern books, but the old fashioned way, reading, writing, what is that, reading and writing and arithmetic, who they, spelling. Yeah. yeah, to go back to the basics, just start learning. Mm -hmm. Because you know what, nobody can, t you go into a restaurant, all these kids are playing games and they're, you know, and like Applebee's, they have games on their menu order mm -hmm. now. You have to pay and they pay for the game. Kids are going to quite a bill. There's, there's a couple of them I think that do that now. Chili's does it. Yeah. Um, Applebee's, I think Smoky Bones. There's yeah. a few places that do that now. Yeah, they ring it, you know, and they're taking away from the kids' concentration of eating mm -hmm. properly or, you know, on the, on the, bringing up your pocketbooks, that's for sure. What mm -hmm. happens you don't have that, they run up a bill and you don't have enough money to pay for it, you know, then you're running into trouble, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I think stuff like that should be at home. Right, and I think it should be monitored and, and, yeah. and whatnot at home because. Again, with all of this, the, the electromagnetic field coming out of these electronics is not good for the vibration of the body. And once you, you, it, it's almost like, you know, tearing a hole in a balloon or something like that. You can do that with, with your energy body. And once you tear it and you don't repair it, then you can get illness and everything else that goes on in the body. I think about how the, uh, everything in, like, like the microwave, the energy that sends out into the air, mm -hmm. um, airplanes, mm -hmm. uh, the satellite dishes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of electronical vibration in that can hurt the earth. A lot of them are doing sonars now and they have the, the towers for the cell phones. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then they wonder why people are so messed up. Mm -hmm. I always use the word F on there. Yeah. Well, look at the communities where, you know, power lines are. You know, yeah. these, these people that build houses right on the power lines and then, you know, 10 years down the road, you know, majority of the people on that road have, you know, some type of leukemia or cancer yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that. I have, where I live, we have a, a, a tower, an electrical tower in the back of us. Mm -hmm. So every time I turn around, I'm burning sage. Because mm -hmm. I think sage is a good protector. Mm -hmm. you know? So are you making any personal appearances? Are you going anywhere for t besides tomorrow? By the way, Dr. Jody will be on Cruiser with Mary mm -hmm. from 5 to 6 tomorrow afternoon. If you don't have any questions for this show, maybe you will for the next show. Um, I am actually doing a class at the Dunstable Senior Center on the 22nd. The um, what? Dunstable. Dunstable? Dunstable, Mass. Is that like Dunstable? Like, remember Dustin uh, <laughs> in the hotel there? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Dunstable? What is that? Dunstable, huh? yep. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to actually, um, this summer I'd like to do um, demos for uh, employee appreciation days, um, in services for, you know, people for lunches or companies to come in and I can talk about anything, whether it be nutrition, herbal, or um, energy work, I'd like to try and get into do that. Again, I want to start to get into t into teaching. Okay. Um, I am giving a class on energy work at the um, in the fall, so. One thing I want to encourage you to do, I want you to write a letter to your spirit. Okay. And you cannot use the backside. Every paper, they have, and, and you can't type it. Okay. It has to be all handwritten. If the word is misspelled, let it go. Okay, you, and then you cannot write on the back side. Okay, I want you to write all your gold, and you know what else is going to come out of it? A lot of your anger issues that you've had buried up because you're a volcano ready to explode. Mm -hmm. you, you, not everything is peaches and cream. Okay? No, no, and, and sometimes when I think, all right, if I, I finally got, I'm 
good with this and yeah, something else. I mean, but yeah. again, I've had anger issues on my yeah. life. So, so I would encourage you to write it out. You have sage? I do. Okay, I would encourage you to write it out and run it out with sage. Okay? And when you do it, just you will feel the energy just leaning, you know, and you'll feel a lot more. I do a lot of that too because I'm a firm believer in using the sage. Mm -hmm. You know, so I would definitely encourage you to do that. And your husband too. Mm -hmm. Your son, I would probably encourage him when I don't see him doing it. You gotta get. Not yet. Him. I don't think he's ready for. No. For that yet. But you gotta make him grow up. He's not mommy's little boy anymore. No. Why do you feel guilty? I think it was just the way that um, I, I sh actually should have left his father when he was a baby, and I didn't. I stayed, no. and it just made things worse. And so I think it was just that everything that surrounded that period. Stop feeling you did the right thing. It's not feeling guilty. Otherwise, you met, wouldn't have met your husband. True. Okay. Well, we're going to let you go. I'm going to get done early. Folks, I want to thank each and every one of you. It was a pleasure having Dr. Jody on. You'll be back on again, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you feel like being co host? It wasn't bad, was it? No. No. Okay. no. Let's hope we get some calls the next time, <laughs> you know. But a lot of calls. But, folks, if you're interested and this is on the internet, and if you need to get a hold of Dr. Jody, 978-476-1184 can also reach me on Facebook at Nature's Way Holistic Health um, and also my website naturewayholistichealth.com okay so everybody remember every day every day every day keep smiling remember every day is a smiling day right every day is and every day you are a winner we'll see you all next week <laughs>